BBI promoters have celebrated their victory in the National Assembly after they passed the Constitution Amendment Bill 2020, terming it as the beginning of the end of the Deputy President William Ruto's political career. Led by National Assembly Majority Leader Amos Kimunya, the legislators have termed Ruto's laws as an indication that the Deputy President does not have enough support in the Parliament, as Daniel Karioki is reporting. The product of President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga's famous handshake, BBI, successfully passed one of its stations in the National Assembly in its quest to amend the current constitution. The National Assembly represents the people of Kenya and their interests. So yesterday, the people's representatives spoke and uh, joined the people who put their signatures and said they will support the will of the people. Yesterday was historic. Historic in this sense. This document, the BBI bill, is not a man is not a God made document. It's a man made document. None of us here seated here will say that it's hundred percent without mistakes. It has mistakes. Majority of Kenyans want peace. Majority of Kenyans want to have, as the leader said, shared prosperity. BBA promoters shaping their victory from the loss of Deputy President's allied wing that voted rejecting the bill. Initially they started with 80 in the second reading and then they ended up moving to 60. I'm sure by today they will move to 30, and the following day 20. At the referendum time we might have even only six people opposing the bill from the National Assembly. The, way, the rate I am seeing people are falling here. But these numbers can make somebody lose his job, you know that. You know, you know very well, but my brothers, we live in the country and you know what the constitution says. But we don't want to go that direction for now. We are focused on peace building now and bringing Kenyans together. A referendum. Labda mwezi wa July tukimaliza hiyo hatua nyingine na kusema kwamba walijionea njana. Nobody influenced anybody to vote. If anybody was influenced, uh, then I do not know. Maybe the other side which was opposing the bill uh, uh, well, 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 cool affair. Because, because, because uh, we expected them to vote 139, but at first round, second re reading, they voted 883. Eight, the voting process dragged on till midnight, it's now seeing a series of unexpected votes. About 10 MPs pulled a surprise vote, including Bahati MP Kimani Ngonziri, a fierce defender of the Hustler movement, and Mzambweni MP Fazal Bada, among others. I, Onesmas Kemani Gonjiri, MP Bahati, I vote yes. Most Ruto's allies rejected the bill during the vote that largely took a cue from the political alignments in the country and others citing that there was no benefit in the document for their constituents. At least 320 of the 349 members participated in the vote at the second stage where 235 supported the bill while 83 went for no while two abstained. As members of the Senate...